All right, well, I am in Jonestown, Pennsylvania this morning, and uh, we're gonna go do some kayaking here on the Swatara Creek, and I'm gonna kayak out to an area that is uh, known to be the only place in Pennsylvania where there are uh, lava deposits on the surface. Um, there was volcanic activity here in the past. Um, it's not a well-known, it's not a well-known fact, but uh, it, it, uh, in, in the description below, I'll put some links to some websites that talk about what happened here uh, in the past. Not not the recent past, this was, you know, in the ancient past. I think I made a video last summer, well yeah, I did make a video last summer about this place. I came, I think I walked to the place and uh, I know some viewers thought I was kind of nuts for saying that there was volcanic activity here. and um, But they wouldn't read the uh, links I sent them, so. But uh, regardless of what you think, you think I'm nuts, but you can at least read the the links and they'll tell you that you know that's what happened here at some point in the past um, in fact Pennsylvania was underwater during that time because uh, the the type of lava is the type of lava that they find is called pillow lava which formed underwater uh, so there was no way even, even living in Pennsylvania when this happened um, all right there, there's actually a, a lot of places here in uh, southeastern Pennsylvania where um, magma oozed up through the earth's crust uh, but never quite made it to the surface. This is one place where that magma did reach the Earth's surface, and of course once magma reaches the Earth's surface, it's called lava, so that's what happened here. Um, and I might do some gold panning later today in this creek, because if you know your geology, where there's you know magma and any kind of volcanic activity, you can find perhaps gold in nearby streams. So we'll see. That might be in another video, though. So I'm gonna head, I'm gonna kayak down to this place, and oh, I'm looking for a particular rock called andesite which was the uh, the uh, the lava that solidified that's what it's called it's called andesite in this area because of the makeup of the minerals and rocks and stuff so we're gonna go out and see if we can find that stuff and we might see some other stuff I was uh, looking for an Indian village down here last winter and a viewer sent me some more information about that so we might I don't know we'll see if we we'll see if we find anything or not about that so I'm gonna hop in the kayak and uh, so I'm making my way down to the area, stop yapping. All right. Yeah, and, and hopefully we don't have any uh, leaks in the kayak this morning. If you remember my last adventure in a kayak, I had some leaks. I plugged that with some epoxy, so we'll see. Hopefully it keeps me dry. Well, we made it out onto the river. Just gonna make our way down to the site here. Nice cool morning. Got some cool rocks coming up here. I know the guy, somebody who watches my channel sent me some information about something called Indian Rock that was up here. I don't know if these have anything to do with that or not. But we're gonna get up there shortly, check them out a little bit. Yeah, these rocks are just big chunks of limestone. Shutting down to the creek here. I wonder if this is what you called Indian Rock, maybe. But I'm floating away from it. All right, so I've made it to the forks of the Sotara. This is that's the big Sotara Creek, which continues on down that way. But uh, here's where we join up with the uh, the little Sotara Creek. So I'm in the area where those lava deposits should be. So I'm going to start looking around for that. Oh, up there's the. Uh, old you can see it up through the old Lebanon to Tremont railroad bridge might get down there later all right we've made it to this little island or shoal here where the two creeks meet kayaks back there up there's the that's the little Sotara Creek and oh there's where I came from the big Sotara Creek so yeah I'll just go walk around here on this little island or shoal here see if there's any artifacts on here, Indian stuff. And then maybe I'll go over there and look for some of those lava deposits too, so. I think this will be looking for lava deposits and Indian artifacts. We'll see what it we'll see what happens. It's always an adventure. Alright, get back to you if I find anything. Uh, finding some things. Not an Indian artifact, just older glass bottle top. Some larger clams here. I'm just gonna keep looking around here. 
Well, this crayfish didn't make it. Looks like he probably raccoon had him for breakfast or something. Yeah, well. And here's the handle to an old, those old glass jugs, old cider jugs. I found this neat little stone with a almost perfect shaped hole in it. It's kind of interesting. Another dead crayfish. All right, well, so far no beautiful quartz arrowhead or, you know, Indian hatchet sticking out of the ground for me to pick up. But a man can dream. I'm not done looking either. Did find a nice little golf ball. All right, and it's a lot of glass here on this island there too. I know when I was here in the winter time, I was just up a little bit, just past the shoals, another little, well, it's more, well, it's not, it's an island, but it's not really an island. It's connected to the land right now. I think, I think when I was here in the winter, I think I remember it was called Wolf Island or something. That's what one, when I was researching, that's what one person called it. And I was looking on there last winter. I didn't find anything on there. And who knows? Maybe, the, yeah, who knows? All right, but I'm going to keep looking around. I think I'm going to go up on shore over here soon, see what I can find. Bit, but I got plenty of time to just wander around, take my time and look. So that's what I'm gonna do, keep looking. All right, so I'm pretty sure I have some uh, volcanic rocks here. Um, <clears throat> I can't be 100% sure that's what they are, but I'm pretty sure this is what I'm looking for. So let's take a look at what we got here. I'm breaking, breaking some of it off, I my, brought my little fossil hammer with, but you can see, oh, I dropped that piece. There it is. This is what's breaking off. It's very lightweight. There's a piece up here that I broke off. You can see like the air bubbles inside and stuff from cooling or solidifying. And like most volcanic rock, it's, you know, it's lightweight. Break, broke off fairly easy too. This is not coal ash, there's no iron furnace nearby or anything, and this is, these blocks are too big for that. That's what all these blocks here are, stones. Yeah, so I think, I'm pretty sure that's what this is looking for. Cool. Let's take some of these home. I'm going to keep looking around for more too. See if there's anything else out here. I don't know if this is the andesite or not, I know there's other types of volcanic rock in the area. All right, let's keep looking around. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and float on up the uh, the little Sotara Creek here for a bit, see what I can find. And maybe I'll go a ways down the other way to that old bridge, eventually head back. Eh, we'll see. And just pull this off the shore. Old iron ring type thing. I think I'll keep that. I was just cruising up the stream here, and here's a whole other section of that volcanic rock just jutting out of the hillside here. And I knocked a few pieces off again. And once again, you can see the little hollow openings and whatnot. Here's where I broke off. Neat stuff. It broke off right there. And this was right where. Uh, there's a map. There's a map online. It'll be and it'll be in one of the links in the description that in the description that said like right here's where it would be, just up the little Sotar Creek a little bit, jutting out of the hillside, and right here it is. So it's out here. Oh, this is Bunker Hill. I yeah, because I said that this is bunk, this is just south of Jonestown a little bit, Bunker Hill. Yeah, of course the lava deposits jut out, but the rock further up is not volcanic. It's been uh, I think it's some type of sandstone that covers it up. But anyway, it's here if you want to come out here and see it. Um, yeah, so it's, this is on the Little Sotara Creek. Now I'm going to go down, rejoin the Sotara Creek, and see if I can find some more stuff down that way. Maybe look for some more Indian artifacts too. Yep, yeah, turned out to be a pretty good day, fun day. Nice day out in the, out kayaking here.
All right, I'm gonna keep looking around. Well, we're back on the main creek now. Let's see what we can find down this way. And up here is the old railroad bridge. Of course, my kayak is going away from it now, but turning around, I gotta turn around and go that way. Spinning around. Yeah, there it is. It'll be part of a rail trail someday. There's some cool rocks over here. We're swimming towards. Well, not swimming, uh, it's floating towards. Check these out. Looks like there's little caves underneath them. Yeah, it's like there's little little caves under there. It doesn't go in far though. It's interesting. There's just a big chunk of limestone jutting out here. All right, let's keep going. All right, well I had to get out here right by the bridge because if you know me, I you know if you know me, you know I like uh, I like my wildflowers and nature and stuff. And I found a cool wildflower that I've been looking for for a while. Very spring, and I finally found it. Native columbine. They're somewhat rare. Here, let's get it close. I saw them growing along the hillside here. I saw a splash of this pinkish reddish color. It's kind of neat. They're just kind of growing up along the, this hillside here. Sorry if you don't like wildflowers, but I do. They're really neat looking. They're kind of rare too. They don't grow just everywhere. That's really neat. Just growing along here in the hillside. All right, well, I had to show these to you. All right, well, I'm gonna start heading back now. I came the other side of the bridge. Oh, and there's some more columbines over there. You can see them growing on the, those neat things. Oh, the kayak's turning around again on me. But, I'm gonna start heading back. Going back is gonna be a little bit more difficult because I gotta paddle upstream. But well, I think we'll make it. There's a few shallow spots. Might have to drag the kayak to some places. But anyway, it was a fun, fun time out here. I didn't find any Indian artifacts, but I thought I'd give it a try. Oh, someone's mowing up there now. But anyway, there are lava deposits here. That was cool to find. And uh, yeah, I, the information I got from that one guy said there was also a cave up here somewhere, but it's all private property up on the shore here. And unless I have better information about that, I'm not gonna go looking for that but it sounded pretty cool from the description he gave me he gave me a description from a book um, from written a little while ago mentioning that cave like might have been a place where Indians met or something so eh, something to check out in the future maybe all right I'm gonna get out of here there's supposed to be some potentially severe thunderstorms later today and I'd rather not be out here when that happens so I'll make my way back and I'll see you again somewhere else unless I see something cool on the way home all right thanks for uh, floating along with me this time, no hiking today, but all right, I'll see you around somewhere else then. Can we use a, oh, I don't know if you can see it. Where'd it go? That's a bald eagle right there. Oh, focus problems. Anyway, he's going on now. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but he was out there. I can see the, the white head from here, but uh, anyway, that's still cool. All right, now I'm heading out.